Okay, and this is a memo to myself to help me remember what I did because I'm in such a hurry I don't want to take the time to write it down. But well, one of the problems I have is I was rebuilding the engine on the uh, school car and took the fuel, the oil pump apart uh, and uh, cleaned it out and when I did I removed the uh, um, shuttle from the um, uh, pressure relief valve and inside there there was a spring and a uh, little washer there for, uh, goes over the end of the spring and then the little roll pin that went down through that end right there and it wasn't much holding that in and I just really wasn't too happy about that so I thought I might ought to consider an alternative idea. My, my first thought was to take a small a quarter inch uh, pipe plug and just thread the end of that to an NPT and put it in and tighten it down. Uh, obviously I have to drill a hole in there so it relieves the pressure. But that's good. Uh, but then I rethought this a little bit and I thought well why don't I just, since that's .440 in diameter, why don't I just thread that to um, UNF and take this bolt and cut it off the appropriate length. Obviously you have to drill a hole through it to relieve the pressure. <coughs> then I can thread that in there to the appropriate depth and then lock that down and that will make a um, adjustable pressure um, oil regulated from an oil pump. Now, one of the things I want to make a note of here is if I don't want to increase the pressure today, what I have to know is is how far in that spring goes in today, which is the back side of the spring with the washer on it, uh, reads, what's that, uh, 2 inch, or 0 0.230, see right there, 0 0.230, 0 0.230. Now, obviously I'll tap that in just a little bit further and I'll cut most of that bolt off. I'm thinking if I want to have some adjustment left in there, so if I want to go in .230 more than that, I'll probably I'll cut this bolt off to oh somewhere, what is that? Uh, .65 .65 in length should be just about right. I'll cut that off at .65 I'll tap that out to UNF and then I'll take and drill a hole through there, small hole, just so it can't build up pressure on the back side of the pressure regulator and uh, create an artificial environment in there. And then I can put that spring in there. I might want to leave that in. Just uh, can't, I don't, I don't know whether it hurt to leave that in or not. But, uh, that allows that to go in and that way that can be adjusted to increase the pressure should it be needed. I'm not looking for more than 60 pounds at idle or 75 pounds at wide open throttle. But uh, So I'll go ahead and get started on that and then go back and download this and make the notes and drawings later. Take the pictures as well. Thought I'd go on to make myself another note. What I've done is I've used that nut which is one of the nuts I use for the uh, Lenko shift button nuts half inch UNF bolt and what I've decided to do is to uh, focus on that length right there of exactly one inch. It's easier to measure. So I'll put the tool in there and we'll cut this thing off exactly at one inch long. Now once this is cut in two, I've cut it off the right dimension. What I'll do is while it's still in the lathe, just go ahead and drill a hole up through the center of it. I know these bolts are a little bit tough in the middle, but that's something you're going to have to do. Okay, I've tapped it in about seven turns, which gives me enough thread to go past the uh, where the little hole is. And remember, it was when that was right there that gave me the pressure I had before. So, I want to screw that in. What I can do is I can look right down through there, I can look right down through that hole, straight through the other side, straight through the other side, and that way I can see where the pressure was before. I can give it, you know, another half turn if I want, and go ahead and lock it off. 
and voila, adjustable pressure regulator, which is a hell of a lot safer, I reckon, than having that little freaking thing right there fall out, and then the uh, pressure regulator spring fall out on you. Well, didn't I just get all excited? Uh, in the earlier part of this video, you can see where I made um, some modifications to the uh, standard big box Chevrolet oil pump cover with the adjustable pressure regulator on it. Then I started thinking I'd really like to know what pressure it was before I put all this thing together. So I um, whipped out this little piece of crap here. Um, just hacked it out of a bit of scrap I had laying around. Cut me an O-ring groove in there that matches where the so it'd seal off where the pump would actually pump the pressure into. And that way I can put this together like this and put the bolts in there and then run the the, uh, the fluid in and then let the